Eden here from Casa Fea showing you how to build the cold Jordan unit from Ikea. I have all my Ikea items laid out for this cabinet. So right here are the legs, hardware that I need. These are the doors. This is the sides to the cabinet. And the reason I know that is because they're smaller than these two pieces. So these larger pieces, you're gonna put them together because these are the back. It's a little dark right here. You could tell this is the bottom piece because it has the sticker on it. This is the top. You could tell because of the way it's rounded. And then this is the shelf that goes in. For step one, you need this screw right here. So you're gonna put this Grab the leg, and all you're doing is screwing in. This is the easiest part of putting this whole cabinet together. Okay, if you're not gonna, um, if you're doing two cabinets, full disclosure first, you don't have to put these little nubbins on, these go last. So, if you're just doing one cabinet, you need to put these on first. If you're not, wait until the end. Okay, for step two, you're gonna take these two pieces, these ones that are together, you're going to pull them apart because you're going to start doing the sides, okay? This part is your top, and you know the other side is the bottom because you have the little foot on it. Um, this one has the foot on it, just to show you, but um, I'm actually building two units and connecting them. So I'm going to take that off when I put it on. But for now, this is the top. Go on the foot at the bottom, and all you're doing is putting them together. It's right, bring it over here. I don't know if you could tell, hopefully, you can in the video. So, there's three little holes in these little slats. All you're doing is line them up, and then they fit in. But it's easier where you have it on the floor doing it, you kind of have to mess with it a little bit. I just used, this is actually going to be the support for the center shelf. I just kind of use that to help open that little middle tab right here. This little, this little middle one because it just wasn't um, wide enough. So I just pulled it up a little bit. That way it could fit. Now you take your other bar right here. And put it, let me lay it on the floor. Okay, so now I put the other bar right here. The same thing, you gotta make sure it lines up. And then you just kind of pull this bar down. Hopefully it works this time. And that way they lock into place. Which this side was a little easier. Okay, now, now I need to do the other side for this one. So I just wanna show you this really quick. Uh, let me turn the camera this way so you see it long ways. So when I put it this way, you could tell it's wrong because that middle one, it's missing the little tab. So I need to flip it. And see now the little tabs all line up. And I'm going to do the same over here. Hopefully this. in make sure they all line up and then you lock it into place so for my next step I need to attach this bottom piece right here so just for your knowledge these holes indicate this is the front these are this is the back of the unit okay so this is my side piece and the bottom gets placed like this. So you're gonna take the screws, so the screws are these ones, they're the fatter ones, not the skinny one, the fatter ones. So you're gonna take these and you're gonna screw them in this hole and there's one on the back that you need to screw it into. So 
So let me show you on the inside. So you're gonna need two screws there, and you need, oh, I'm kinda dark in here, two screws over here. And then you're gonna do the same for the top. So once you're done on one side, I would suggest flipping it over and then doing these other sides. You need the smaller screws. These ones are smaller, let me see if I can find the other one. Than these ones. See the difference? So this is not the one you need. You need the smaller one that's thinner. So you're gonna use that to um, assemble the backing. So this is pretty easy. So for this one, there's three holes. So you need three of those screws. So there we go. You can see the little silver part, and then here's a screw hole. These and these holes, this is the only side with these holes on it, should line up and you screw them together. So you lay it down like this and you screw it in. So now we're gonna attach the backing. So remember I said the back had these like little uh, rectangle notches? That's cause they're supposed to match up with these right here. They put the line up. So if they're not lining up, that means you put it in wrong. Another way to know that you're putting it in wrong, let me take this off. So another way to tell that you're putting it in wrong, again, those little pegs need to line up. So they do not, so I need to flip it over. Like I said, I need to flip it over. Now they line up. So before you put on the top, I should show you this before I put back the camera. Okay, remember those little rectangles I kept mentioning and how these little tabs too also need to line up? So you need to go in and push all those little tabs in. And it's kind of hard. So what I did was that I used a little tool that it came with and I used it to help it, help me push it down. Do it like this one. Once I got it in. I pushed it in like that. I could probably use a some kind of screwdriver, but you need to do that to all the little pegs before you put the top on. Okay, I pushed in all my little pegs, now I'm going to adhere the top. So these ones, the fatter ones, and screw them in on the sides, right here, and those corners. So you're going to need about two, four, six, eight of them. FYI, to know you're screwing it correctly, there's no holes in the front. There only should be two holes in the back. And also, same like you did at the bottom, the tabs you need to go around and push them in. That way this stays put. Okay, now for the easy part. Sort of, the doors. So you know this go door goes right here because of the latches. And also the way the front looks. It has this right here. So these latches are going to go into these holes. There's one on top too. But before we do that, we need to put these gray little things in. So let me show you. So these little gray stoppers go on each corner here. So now you need these to attach the doors. So what I do here, I'm going to do the same for the top and all four sides. Put this metal thing in and then press down to lock it in place. And I do the same for the top. So the top part's in. And now I'm just going to push this metal part right tab and lock it into place. And I'm going to do that for the other side of the door. Okay, now you're going to use this to attach, oh, where is it? 
over here, this little hole. That's all you're doing. Oops, sorry. Goes like this. And you just put the screw in. Once that's done, you're taking your magnets. Oh, and you're attaching them in here. So hopefully this doesn't close on me. <laughs> Let me put my foot right there. To make it kind of hard. Okay. And then you just put it in like that and you screw it in and you and you do the same for the top. So now you just need to put these in for the shelves. So these are easy. Just grab them. Here we go. Now it's brighter. So those metal pieces, you just put them in here. And now you have your shelf. Once you have your shelf in, all you need are these tabs right here and if you're not going to connect another piece on top all you have to do is put them in here but since I'm going to connect another piece we're going to save that for the next video all you're doing is getting these little foot pegs and you're going to come from the bottom here and screw them in these are kind of hard I don't know if you can tell from I can't see from a camera angle but you should be able to see the screw so hopefully you get them in there I'm having trouble getting one in there but that's pretty much it for the assembly for this cabinet. It's done.